three years on from launching its Alice electric aircraft at the 2019 Paris Air Show, Aviation remains convinced it can change the air transportation business model. Since then, the company has completed a fundamental redesign of the fixed-wing model that has pushed back its original plan to be ready to start deliveries in 2023. But it's also attracted its first prospective customers. We've just completed our ground test campaign, so 26 uh, independent ground tests have now been done, and uh, we're mobilizing the aircraft to get it ready for first flight. We've got uh, a 75 aircraft order from Cape Air uh, to deploy the aircraft uh, inside uh, the United States, uh, and also a 12 aircraft order from DHL that's been public on the e-cargo. Uh, naturally, we're, uh, we're discussing the aircraft with a large array of customers from different parts of the operator world. The design change involved going from three to two electric motors and relocating these on an airframe that now looks quite different to the one shown in Paris three years ago. With the advantage of time, of course, one of the things that's improved is the available power, uh, the available power that we can get from our electric propulsion units. So at the time, the aircraft had to make do with uh, 350 kilowatt motors. Uh, today, we have access to 650 kilowatt motors, right? So again, we can make do with the two, two motors on the airplane. Uh, that and then feedback from the marketplace, uh, you know, evolving the aircraft, uh, finding out what, you know, what, what can we do right now with today's technology. Um, all these things coming together, uh, the advent of the compact fly-by-wire technology we're, we're uh, putting into the aircraft, uh, and then using just aerospace knowledge uh, that, that, uh, that we've been building on since we put forward that concept. We're going to have two two-motors from three motors. When, when they're on the tip of the wings, of course, one of the things that you have to deal with is uh, asymmetric thrust. And so by moving them to a centerline configuration or more, more centerline configuration, uh, you, you just have more standard controllability uh, that you would have in a typical aircraft. So again, having the three-motor configuration uh, would have allowed us to do uh, uh, some interesting fly-by-wire controls to make the aircraft flyable in, in various different um, engine operating conditions, but by moving the aircraft to the center line, uh, it just means that with the two more powerful motors, we can fly the aircraft on single, single engine operations. Rather than waiting for the perfect battery technology to be available, Aviation believes it can make an immediate impact in terms of reducing carbon emissions from flights and changing the operating economics for bringing services into smaller communities. It says recharging batteries for an hour of flight will only take 30 minutes, making quick turnarounds possible between trips. So there will be evolution in terms of what you can do with an electric aircraft. But again, part of what we're bringing, uh, is, rather than just it being a sustainable product, is reduced operating economics. And so we'll be able to operate, again, single pilot, nine passenger aircraft. Uh, you could deploy two assets, uh, two pilots. So, so that, that, that allows you to bridge into what's possible uh, with the electric aircraft today. So you'll be, you'll be able to expand the market. And again, even though we're adding airplanes to the fleet in order to make up that capacity, we're doing it with zero emissions, right? So it's gonna be sustainable from that regard. From a societal perspective, you'll be able to fly point to point knowing that you're not damaging the environment. So that, that's a big barrier that we need to address in its own right. And then across uh, Europe and North America, there are thousands of underutilized or even unused airports that we can tap into with this product. Uh, what we are finding from our, our uh, entry into the marketplace is that we are being told by operators and, and potential operators that yes, they're actually looking at it, uh, deploying our aircraft uh, to, to new markets, uh, new destinations. Uh, the idea being that, you know, I think right now it's about 100 kilometers typical travel for a person to get to an airport but there's airports within you know 10 or 15 kilometers of almost anybody in, uh, from a population perspective and so we'll be able to bridge that gap with our product we are here because of sustainability right so that's why we're producing an electric airplane uh, today you know there's still a mix of obviously the, the market is dominated by conventional fueled aircraft uh, this is going to change you know over the next 5 10 15 years the market will evolve uh, I've got three young children, and in 15 years, uh, my, my kids are going to get onto an airplane, and it's not going to be a big deal that it's an electric airplane, but it's going to be an electric airplane. 2025 now seems to be a more realistic target for the Alice to enter commercial service. Aviation says the name is based on Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland stories, and the privately owned startup remains convinced it will now write a new chapter in aviation history.